Hi guys, this is Maria and I thought today instead of me talking we're gonna do something practical and it's something that everybody needs especially if you're sitting behind the desk and that's stretching so I thought we would just do a little bit of neck stretching and a little bit of shoulder stretching so even if if you're in the office behind your desk you can still do this it's gonna take a couple of minutes if you are worried about the colleagues thinking you look weird just invite them to join you and then you can take that little routine and just do it for a couple of minutes every day okay so with that I want you to stay nice and tall pull the abdominals in roll the shoulders back make sure that you're not going into a hyper extension but rather stay nice and tall and with here we're going to start with a little neck stretch keeping the neck nice and long keep the shoulders down we're going to turn to the right, center, and left, and center. Try to make sure that the chin is not going too high up or too high down. And make sure that the shoulders are not coming up. Also, don't force it. Go only as far as where you can go. And you can just do a couple of these. Make sure you're not going too fast so that you also don't get dizzy. Yes? And center it back. Now we're going to press the neck to the press the head to the right and slowly up and left and up. Now when this is happening, what I want you to be careful with is the shoulder coming up and you're shortening the space between the head and the shoulder. So make sure that you pull the shoulder blades down so that the shoulders are nice and anchored down. And then when you press, don't jerk it and try to keep the neck long. So don't crunch it down nice and long. Press it to the side, then come up and press it to the other side and come up. And again, two and up and press. It's not really a press, it's more like a gentle tilt. Obviously, if you have any kind of neck issues or problems and restrictions in movements, you want to make sure that you check with your doctor before doing any of this, yes? And I'm doing about five on each side. You can do more or less whatever suits you. Now the next one is going to be a little bit of a deeper stretch. As you press the head to the right, I want you to turn the palm towards the floor and then gently press the palm down towards the floor and gently raise the, head, the hand and keep the head up. And then press the head to the right, turn the palm down and now gently pull the arm down. Release the, arm, the hand and head up. And again, press and palm, stretch. Again, make sure that the shoulders don't come up. Nice and long, abdominals stay straight, uh, nice and engaged. And one more. Side and stretch and up. And last time down and stretch and up. Now we're going to go forward and back. Very important, when you go back, you don't want to crunch your neck. That's really not good for your neck or your cervical spine. So you want to keep the head nice and long and think like it's going over a ball, yes? So we're going to go, don't tilt the chin forward, don't force it down, just gently drop the head down, take it center, and then nice and long look up. Once again, make sure that the shoulders stay down. And stretch, and center, stretch back. Again, don't crunch, center front and up and back two more down center so as we're sitting in front of computers iPhones or any phones really the neck gets so so stiff and it can cause problems it can give you headaches when the shoulders get stiff same thing so we want to make sure that we do our daily stretching I know stretching is um, not appreciated by everybody. Let's start with nice shoulder rolls, nice and gentle roll the shoulders back. And again, once again, keep the belly nice and tight so that this is not happening, yes? You want to stay nice and stable and the only movement is in the shoulders. Back, and again, we're only gonna do like five of them. Feel free to do more or less. And now we're going to reverse, nice and slow, two. And if you're super tight, your range might be very, very limited. That's okay, just do whatever is good for you. And release. Now, another great exercise that you can do in the shower, I recommend that to all of my clients, is you can take a large towel and you can grab it 
as wide as, as you can, or rather as narrow as you can, depending on your flexibility. For most people, it will be pretty wide. You also don't need a towel. So what you can do is you can, again, be careful with hyperextension, stay nice and tall, and you're going to gently press the arms back and then bring them down. So from a side view, press them back and bring them down. What you don't want to happen is you don't want this to happen, right? So press the shoulders down, bring the shoulder blades down and stretch and you can even do a little pose and come down and pose and come down. Depending on your range, you might be just here. You may also need to go a little bit wider, yes? Just do whatever works for you. Let's do one more and down now if you have the towel and you're really flexible what you can also do is go all around and make a circle and then reverse however you have to be very careful that you don't get out of your shoulder joint yes with that let's extend right arm forward left arm supports it and i'll gently reach that right right arm forward and you should feel the opening into the shoulder blade yes and gently pull it forward and bring it back and again, gently open the back and come back. One more time, stretch and come back. Let's reverse, other arm and reach away. Again, keep the shoulders down, come back. Reach away, come back. Very gentle, don't force it. Very, it should actually feel good. Stretch, mm-hmm. And last time and slowly take it down you can do a couple of more shoulder rows and reverse so hopefully by now you're feeling just a little bit loose and I recommend that you do those stretches frequently even multiple times a day you don't have to do as many as we did and you can only pick certain exercises whatever feels good for you but make sure that you stretch have a great day and I hope that made you feel better bye